So today, Mr. Beast, Logan Paul, and KSI announced this new product called Lunchly. As you can see right now, they're holding it up. It comes with feastable bars, prime hydration, and this is the Lunchly box. So we can look at the three SKUs here. We have the pizza, uncured pepperoni and cheese pizza with prime hydration, cherry freeze, and feastable's milk crunch bar. They then have turkey stackums, turkey, cheddar cheese, and crackers with prime hydration ice pop and feastable's milk chocolate bar and lastly they have fiesta nachos nacho chips with queso blanco and salsa with prime hydration strawberry banana and feasible's milk chocolate bar this has to be one of the smartest collaborations i have ever seen this isn't getting into any of the controversy surrounding mr beast and logan paul's name because honestly for their brand it doesn't matter too much because their main target is kids and kids really don't care about youtube drama i know it's more than youtube drama but in their eyes, that's what it is. They just want to watch their favorite YouTubers and to see this on store shelves, they're going to go crazy over that. You'll be the most popular kid on the playground if you brought the lunch lead to the cafeteria. So we can see this here on the website brought to you by creators that leave no crumbs. It's time to grab it and go get them. We have the us versus them page where they basically try to tell you that they're better than Lunchables in every way. Flavorful combos versus standard pick. 400 milligrams of electrolytes per prime flavor in each lunchly pack compared to 55 milligrams of electrolytes in every Capri Sun. Bold packaging versus basic packaging. Big gestures versus mid moments. Eat the day. So they are advertising 11 grams of protein, 230 calories, 400 milligrams of electrolytes, and 7 grams of sugar compared to 11 grams of protein, 310 calories, 55 milligrams of electrolytes, and 21 grams of sugar. And then you can see right here is the same thing for the pizza. Even though this one isn't as much of a difference, it's just in the electrolytes. Because look, 360 compared to 390. And then here's the Fiesta nachos, which actually has more protein in it, which this one has less protein in it. It's like very close to each other though. This isn't a healthy alternative to Lunchables at all. I mean, is it healthier? Yes, for sure. If you think this is going to be nutritious for your kids though, you are sorely mistaken. The fans on KSI's subreddit though are not fans of this gen alpha starter kit i know everyone's saying they're upset over jj working with mr beast however this was probably in the works long before the allegations dropped by now the contracts have all been signed and it's probably too far for him to back out what is wrong with jj man logan still hasn't paid his victims even after earning hundreds of millions and jimmy has still not responded to the allegations and it's not a good look on jj jj keeps defending logan and it's just putting a big stain on him by collabing with both of them i mean yeah but to the audience that they're targeting here that's not gonna matter i'll probably Probably end up trying at least one of these if I find them. Putting the people in it beside, I actually do really like Prime. Feastables, they're all right. I mean, there's like nothing special about it compared to just other chocolate. I'm not gonna just point out the Feastables on a store shelf and be like, that's the chocolate I need. But yeah, I just think this is a genius collab and I just wanted to share it with y'all. Cause this shit may make them billions, not even just millions, I mean billions of dollars. I wish I could have it my way. I don't really know who's to blame, but you said you were giving me space, then forever went away. Hey, at night in the garden I roam, since the day you left, no flowers grow. My skin's gone purple from the cold, and I hate you, but I think I miss you more.